you have right to vote right to vote is it a fundamental right no ma'am there's not a fundamental right okay so these are called as constitutional rights fundamental rights is the chapter we are studying this is one group uh, now for example can i come inside your house or occupy your house and stay inside your house without a rental agreement or a lease agreement can i simply come inside your house and occupy your house no ma'am you cannot occupy why because if anything like that happens you give a police station complaint and you say you have a intruder into the house and you complain against them and then they are taken away okay so that type of right is not mentioned in the constitution but it is a legal right that is your legal right to property so right to property was removed as a fundamental right and has been made a legal right in the country so that is a different type of right so there is a constitutional right there is a fundamental right there is a legal right so what is the difference between these rights there are many types of rights in any country okay so you have environmental rights you have that right you have this right many rights are there constitutional fundamental legal are the three broader categories of rights and these are the majority rights that are present so what is the difference between the three constitutional rights cannot be taken away ma'am yeah it cannot be taken away fundamental it can be suppressed at the time of emergency then why do you then you are telling constitutional right is uh, above your fundamental right fundamental right is the magna carta that is the most important right in the country legal rights it does not allow on the illegal activities it does if anyone allow any illegal activities okay okay so broadly you all are correct so now coming to the differences between constitutional right fundamental right and the legal right is suppose tomorrow in the mp elections uh, you want to go and cast your vote and when you go to the polling booth they don't give you voting only they tell that your uh, id is not valid or they tell that your uh, name is not there in the list etc and they deny voting rights what do you do nothing ma'am what will you do you will go to the election commissioner ma'am hmm ask them to check their data and all and uh, also check out happen in that one day of voting sorry ma'am that doesn't happen and you don't get your voting uh, opportunity only what do you do further we will uh, file the case further you will go to the court you will go to the judiciary and you will file the case which court will you be taken to uh in this case high court high court district court supreme court which court ma'am high court i'm saying na uh... okay somewhere between your district court to high court okay so it might go to district court or it might go to your high court so either one of the courts your court, uh, case for hearing will start will you be able to go to supreme court directly and file the case no 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 not be able to go they going to listen supreme court and file the case okay can the court deny your case uh, which court district court ha huh. no they cannot can they reject your case they cannot ma'am they cannot reject it because it is a important right which has been given by constitution so it is important they will not be able to reject it they will not reject it okay on the other hand they do untouchability on you okay so they do untouchability on you what will you do then supreme court you will go to court no, okay go to the police station 
you will go to police station you will go to court and your case will be filed which court will you go directly you can go to supreme court supreme court yeah you can go to supreme court directly there is no need to go through the hierarchy here you have to go through a hierarchy only where you will go to district court then you will go to high court then on yeah. appeal you will go to supreme court supreme court will not entertain your case in the first time itself so you have to get your justice from district court then from high court then for a supreme court suppose district court says you know yes you have been denied that right to vote and re election and it announces re election then you get justice there only there is no point in go going to high court and supreme court suppose high court gives that decision then there is no point in going to supreme court only when it is denied in these two you go to supreme court on the other hand when it is the case of untouchability it is your fundamental right if any fundamental right is violated case is directly taken up to supreme court if if you want it if you want to go to district court or high court you can go to district court or high court nobody is telling not to go to district court but if you want to go to supreme court then you can directly approach it no need for any kind of appellate there okay so there is no need for any kind of appellate directly go to supreme court and on the other hand uh, if supreme court when you take the case it wants to reject it they cannot reject it they have to accept it but if you go to high court or district court it can reject and it can tell you no very big case go to supreme court only directly i cannot take it beyond my capacity to take it okay so in a particular village entire village they have done you know untouchability on one big group of people then your high court and your district court will tell uh, district court generally will tell take it directly to high court or take it directly to supreme court so they can reject a case and refuse a case but supreme court cannot reject and cannot refuse your case at all that is the difference between a constitutional right and that is the difference between your fundamental right if it is uh, possible in case of legal rights they can reject the case they will not admit the case only now for example you know you are constructing say for example one flyover and you tell that you know uh, i don't want to give my land to this flyover construction court will say your case only is not accepted and it will tell case is rejected completely if you file a case telling that the compensation that is given for that land acquisition is less okay so suppose now he is taking to construct that flyover he is taking 1 acre of your land and for 1 acre of your land he is telling that he will give you 30 lakhs and then you go to court telling that market rate is 50 lakh so why are you giving me 20 lakh less you give me 50 lakh and upon that you should add to my compensation to so give 60 lakh because i don't want to sell it i don't want to sell it you are forcibly taking it so give me market price or above the market price so you can claim for that that the court will accept but if you tell i don't want to give my land then court will not take that case only that is a legal right means your property is protected by the government but when need comes if government is asking for it you have to give it and if it can be taken by the government it will be taken by the government it is not assured at all the times that is your legal right so this is the difference between different types of rights that are there in all of this fundamental is the most protected because for fundamental rights the protector of fundamental right is supreme court okay it is the most protected right and your supreme court you know has only one job to do protection of fundamental rights of the people so it is given the most important job so their protector is supreme court and upon that their case cannot be rejected and it has to be accepted that is why it becomes fundamental fundamental means most necessary for survival without which survival is not possible so when it is most necessary for survival and without which it is not survival that will be put under one category under part 3 of constitution which falls under the chapter fundamental rights and all these rights are called as your fundamental rights okay so did you get the idea of fundamental right 